All right, welcome back. <clears throat> and uh, we did some work. There, there's a road here. Um, so that is uh, working on steel factory stuff. I'm, uh, I'm working on a blueprint actually, so I can have like a generic kind of a with lighting. Hopefully, if this works. No, not that one. Um, problem is not going to be able to do too many of these because I'm using this to build a bit of a factory for this quartz. So hopefully I have enough of these things. We have to test it out. I don't know if I'm going to have to like flip it around, change the outputs, that kind of thing. There's going to be a little bit of finagling going on here with uh, what happens with the output side. So I think that's okay for now. Um, that gets me power in and out, a little bit of lighting. All right, let's save this as or by instructor with with logistics hello Uh, I need a new category. Constructors. Hey, where did I save it? Is that not working? Confirm. Okay, so where did it go? Uh, I have a problem with trying to figure out how to use blueprints. I'm still very new to blueprints. Roads. Oh, I need a I need a subcategory. That's why. Four by four instructor. See if I can type. Okay, so four by four instructor. Just check below. There we go. Uh, save. Okay, so let's clear the designer. And we need to go over here. 
and see if it works and see if I need to like change direction because I have sort of two sides. We got to do something with our Caterium at some point. It is at least sinking off the excess, but yeah, I just have a container of Caterium over here that isn't going back to the hub. Hmm. We'll have to figure that one out. So yeah, this is the, and it's, everything needs uh, tidying up. That's newer. Like this factory is definitely not complete. It is just platforms in the sky. I did uh, put some hyper tubes in. Those are really fun. Okay, so we have our two 240s over here. And I mathed it out if you do four and four. Uh, so let's see, we need to have room. I do. going on buddy all right so let's we got to come this way some more might have to run back to the hub this is the problem i'm experiencing as i like expand is things are kind of taking up a lot of time and space okay so we got to get more this way I'm going to angle that. Okay, so let's go like that. That should be enough room. What is that? One, one, two, three, four. Yep. And if I mark the rebus guy out of here and give it a little twist, but right in the middle of this one. Um, I guess let's start right here so that way it looks synced up. Or no, how about right here? Uh, blueprints. Okay, so what way is my in? My in is this way. Pretty sure that's on the square that I want it, but let's take take a look. Uh, yep, that's on the square that I want it. And then we need more this way. Kind of figured I would. Oh, we don't need that far, though. Okay, so let's do that again over here. Uh-oh, what am I missing? Iron plates, for F's sake. I swear there was an iron thing over here. Yeah, right here. Ugh. Is there an iron? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of iron nodes right here. This is that area. This is that starting area. Time and space. Welcome to Satisfactory. Yeah. Truth. Just going to take these nodes off the top here. Is this that starting area? Yeah, this is that starting area. This was another option for a starting area, but since we're over here, we might start using it.
I just don't feel like running back. The valley is the best. I guess I don't even know what you're talking about when you say the valley. Do you mean the... Can I do the map while I'm doing this? Probably not. So I'm over here on whatever this is, Rocky Desert. But it is sort of like a valley that's down in here. And this is sort of where I've been building. At least where I started. I mean, I'll be moving, obviously, everywhere, but... Oh, you're talking about that little area right there. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely like a good... The problem is, is if you start the game there, right? You have, you have no verticality at the moment that you start the game, and you don't really have enough time to, like, ramp up concrete. Which is another thing I need to do today. I am definitely having concrete shortages. So I think we're going to like tier two and overclock all of our concrete and maybe do some more concrete. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ooh, geez, sorry. That was my keyboard. So yeah, this should get at least production started with one of the miners. And then I can just throw it into a bin. Throw an awesome sink up, throw it into a bin, and at least get it started so I have the ability to create more. And then I'll come back for fixing. This, this is sort of what I end up doing, right? Is I like make a factory, like I'll automate something. And then I'll just kind of like not store it. So I have to like fly around and get it, which is kind of annoying, but it's still like early game, right? Like I haven't, I only have one road and it's just going from, and it's like an excessive road too. I just was playing with, um, blueprint patterns and it's like six or it's actually like eight platforms wide. So it's like way too wide for the two vehicles I have running on it, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so go like this. Make sure that's lined up. No, it's not. Okay. And then we should be able to row something like up here. Probably. We'll just go like that for now. And these need to be... So the first four are going to be crystal. And then the last four are going to be silica. And then it evens out to a 240 belt. Copy. I need to connect the power from these two right here. And then we need to feed these. Oops, except that's not what I wanted. Need a Mark three. And then another Mark three to continue this. Okay, so then I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring so these ones are making quartz. So we're going to bring these in. Six. Like that. And then these four out. I'm out of freaking plates again. What a fucking joke. 
Do we have any play production over here? I don't think so. It's all concrete. Concrete, iron. I think that's the closest plate. This way the heck over here. Here, we'll take the... Uh, Just take the hyper tube. Then I can be lazy about it at least. So yeah, this was our overly engineered road. I could I was thinking about actually like running lines underneath it. I might redo this whole road too. Like making it not as wide, but then also giving it like a couple of hyper tubes underneath. And then also like four or so mark three belts underneath just to like give it multi-purpose because right now it's just a road have you seen my cool storage facility by the way uh do i need any of these no i do need some of these though Okay, how are we doing on? We need some of those. And then let's grab like... Just the rest. That's not what I wanted. I got to fix this one going back up. There's like a little spot right up here. Like I did a, a an additional thing there, but. Like this one right here slows down a little bit. I could probably add another entrance here. Right towards the top, it starts to slow down a little bit. Alright, let's fix this. And we need to come out some more because uh, we're going to need some storage area. Let's just do this whole thing. For now, oh, for crying out loud, I'm out of, I should have got more concrete. Well, that is what it is. I don't probably need, what do I need? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't need this line. All right, that's it. It's all the concrete I got. <laughs> I got more in the base, but. Powerful course, right? This is the way of satisfactory. That is not all the way down. Okay, so these ones are going to merge together. And we'll put a merger probably. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Bring this one over here. 
And then the other one will bring over the top. No, that's not going to work. I'm trying to think how this is going to work on the flip side. I guess for now, we'll just we'll just leave it right here. We'll just bring it out here. I'll worry about it later. This is 22.5 times 4. 90. Okay, so I need a mark 2. Okay. And then this one is going to come like good enough. Probably right there. I don't know, I feel like I'm missing one. I am missing one. This is 37.5. 37.5 times 4. 150, because that's a mark 3. Oops. No. Okay. Ta-da. Okay, so now we can build more of those once we handle our concrete crisis. Because we were getting very low on that. Okay. Good. Now I can do glass and more signs and stuff. More signs, aka lighting. I like how that I like how those look like that when you just use the signs for lighting. Obviously it's it's still open. I haven't closed it off yet, but there will be light in here when that uh is closed off. I don't like that. I I don't like this. I hope they fix that in 1.0. The whole like fighting, Z fighting or whatever they call it. Okay, so that's just one of the miners as well. We have the whole other miner that we're going to do on the other side. Oh, except I did it in the wrong spot. I started it on the wrong line. Uh, It'll be okay, because the inner ones go inner. So we can still hang this over the top of it, and it should be fine. Uh... Is it going to be fine? We might have to turn that first one around, or we'll just come around. We'll go, we'll come like this and come out and back in. Either way, we'll figure it out. Yeah, like anytime you rotate a platform too, you get that weird like clipping. And like it's the only way to like make things look cool, right? Like if you make a like here, if I do. Where's my... There it is. If I do one of these... Oh, except I have no concrete left. Yeah, I just used my last concrete to do that. Well, uh, you get the point. That's what I'm going to end up doing with that, is cutting the corner. We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's make a trip back to the base. I don't have my thing on me, I don't think. No, I don't. I don't even know if I made a zip line. All right, so let's figure out. We might have to rebuild our concrete factory, but I think I need to up concrete production. 
we're going to be going through lots of concrete today. I think we're just going to build lots of stuff. Because I need to do motors, which motors is an assembly part, I believe. But then I need to obviously do a various amount of things to do motors. And then we can get oil, which means we have power that we can work on. Use the one up by the starter factory. Talking about the concrete up here. This is what I was going to. This is going to be my, uh, this is my concrete factory, actually. I'm just going to expand this. I might pull this out some. Currently, this is, this is maxed out with, uh, three 120s, but I'm going to double it. And I don't think I have room. Uh, maybe. I have room to double this. Uh, I don't think I have room below. I don't think I have room below is the problem. Let's take a look. That's right. I didn't put a door in. I really need to put a door in. Yeah, there's this big rock right here. That's why I can't do it below. Um, And that's my out. So yeah, it would be like here would be the other set. So we might have to just extend this this way. Which I'm okay with. We can blow this wall out and just extend it. And then I'm going to make these overclocked. I think that's the plan. We're just going to overclock these. We're going to crank these all up to... We'll separate them into three separate belts. And just have them be 240 apiece. And... What is the math for these? Spent a lot of time on this fucking wall to make it look cool. Uh, 40? Do I have this down clocked? I do have it down clocked. Why do I have it down clocked? Oh, because that's that math's out correct. Uh, N 40 times 8 is 320. 320. 320 divided by 3. Why is, why is that? Why am I not maxed out on these? That's a weird... Do I not have a 120? Is one of these not 120? What did I do here? What did I do here? That's a 120. That's a 120. Okay. Well, uh, oops. I could be making more concrete currently. <laughs> yeah. The, the goal is, is 240 concrete. So if we, if we take seven, 240 times three, yeah, it's 720. So that would be three cause it's three to one. Yeah, exactly. So, yep, that would work. We would have to, I gotta, I gotta up my, I don't really need to up my, cause this is, this is all copper. This is the copper factory. It's got room in here to double everything. I just haven't done it yet. I'm like, I don't really, I mean, it would fill the belts. It would make me happy that way. But like, I'm, I'm just sinking all of this. Like every single bit of this is going into sinks. Cause how often do you use? you know, copper sheets and cable currently. I mean, I guess once I start doing the the other cable or whatever, this stuff, not this stuff, not that one, these ones, automated wirings, I need to have lots of cable for, but that was just my little temporary get my phase three or phase two done, whatever it was. Like my little 
this is just nothing it's just a just some lights inside of a nothing and there's like the the little bit of the thing that i built around in here kind of a cool i i thought it was a cool like little design touch to where my like main hub and concrete is so yeah i think we'll just extend this out because I don't really have the ability. Yeah, and then we can just keep this coming this way. And we'll feed it in the same direction that it's going currently. And this is a Mark III belt, so we can fill this Mark III out. We'll have three Mark III's in. So then we just have to figure out how many constructors is one Mark III belt. So a 240. Uh... Constructor. Concrete. 45. That's probably why I did it. 45. Because that doesn't math correctly, does it? 120. Nope. 240 divided by 45. No, it does not. So I could do 6 with 1 down clock. That would probably be the easiest. 6, 6, and 6. So I would need 12, 18. I need to, and I need to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have nine here. Why do I have nine? That's why it's down clocked. <laughs> what am I doing with this?
That was weird. I didn't have sound. Hello. I must have pressed... What did I press? That's my bad. <laughs> I must have pressed mute. Oh, you know what? It was probably I clicked the thing on my mouse. One of my mouse buttons is also a mute. Sorry about that. So anyhow, hello Artem. How are you this evening? Uh, I'm doing all right. My uh, wife is going to Pittsburgh tonight to go be with her friend who's getting married. She's like doing dress shopping things. I was like, you're dedicated. Guys, guys have it easy, man. You just like you you're if you're in a wedding, right? You're standing up in a wedding. The groom will send you a message and be like, hey, go to this one place. The things and colors and everything are all picked out. You just have to get fitted. That's it. Women have to like do all this weird trying out dress. It's like, I don't need, I don't need help picking out colors. Like, if anything, I need help from, I need, I need help from my wife. To be like, okay, what color is good? What color is acceptable? Yeah, I was in JJ's stream as well. I was kind of actually like watching <laughs> on the other screen. <laughs> so I have uh, I have my desktop audio muted in the stream. So like I could actually, I was kind of watching. I was lurking. But I noticed he ended. Okay, so now we need to do one of these. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, It's been kind of crazy. Like it jumped up really, really quick there at the end. I was like, that was weird. Went from like 196 to 204 or something in a day. And I was like, that, that won't happen again. Okay. So there's all of our outs. Now let's handle our ins. Uh, let's get splitter. That's the right position, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud, they stopped at Portillo's. <laughs> Getting Portillo's, they didn't even offer me any. It's okay, they're far away. It means they're in Chicago. This is six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, let's get the. Oh, of course. It's just a tiny bit short. From here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Nice. 
I upgrade this last one to 240. I don't know if I did. Let's see. Probably not. Nope. 240. Let's make sure this whole thing is Mark III. Mark III. Mark III. Oh, that's not straight. Oh, it's going to bother me. <laughs> that's going to bother me. It's out of sight, but it's still going to bother me. Uh, damn it. Damn it all. Uh, okay. So let's see. Let's see what this stuff up here is doing. Is this all making stuff? Is this all cooking? Yep, we're cooking. Uh-oh. We got another... We have another issue here. What is going on with these... All right, we're going to figure this out. Nope. That is just flat out not working. Well, it's, it's connected. It's like the top isn't connected, maybe? I don't know. There's something weird going on. Yeah, all of these are not working. I do not understand. Me no comprehend. Well, those were working. That is the wrong way. Oh, I deleted a platform. Oops. See if these get blocked up again. Uh, yep, I see one definitely is. I don't understand. I guess let's go from the top down and see if it fixes it. Six. Let's try that. That one worked. Like some of them are working. They have like weird orientation to these. Oh, they're all one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're all that way. Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't really understand what's going on here. I guess we'll just link these all directly. That why maybe maybe when I hook these up it didn't didn't like that I snapped them to the line that could be that could very well be let's see what these are doing
Uh, yep, those are all flowing. Alright, I think that was it. Let's see. These are flowing. Those are flowing. Perfect. Now we just have a bit of a traffic jam while we, while we let things catch up. It should all flow evenly once it gets to the end. We just gotta let it sort of work itself out here. I'm just gonna take these concretes out of here. Yeah, give me those. Give me those. Any other backups? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we're I think we're flowing smoothly now. Um, so the, the main goal, this, this big space elevator here, so you're sent to this planet to not terraform it, but you're basically sent to gather resources and send it back to the company, fix it. Um, but fix it is essentially like, I don't know. It's weird. Like you're, you're kind of a prisoner here and right. You need to send resources back so like the whole goal is like automation building factories so you can like automate things so you don't have to like manually craft things and then like this on the top right corner up here there's this objective for phase three someone's at my door the heck is at my door hold on a second i'll be back
It's always fun when people don't leave. Like, I'm watching this guy on my ring camera, my doorbell camera. And he clearly, like, had, like, a clipboard in his hand. And he's just standing by the door. And then he, like, turned around and was, like, looking on his phone. And I'm like... Do I need to... Call the cops or, you know, what's going on here? <laughs> so, I did not go to the door. Because I didn't had no idea what the hell this guy was at my door for, but he either wanted to sell something, which I didn't give a shit, or he wanted to rob me. One of the two. Uh, do I fix this? I think we're flowing nicely now. Uh oh. We have backup. I know why we have backup. Because we have too much going into the sink. We have too much going into the sink. Uh, I guess the only solution is, is to take... Yeah, it's, it's just going to be backed up. That's okay, though. Now we have more concrete production. For sure. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like in here. Yeah, the sink is extra busy. Um, where is my concrete? It's right here. Okay, so yeah, it's not feeding into the sink currently, but this sink is full. This line is definitely full. We just have too much stuff that's like not being used currently. We need another sink is what we need, or a faster belt. But So this is like a crusher. It just gets rid of miscellaneous things and prints out these coupons that you can use to like buy cosmetic things to make your factories look cool. This is how your factories generally start, just on the ground. Kind of in a slop like this. I haven't cleaned this one up yet. But, but yeah, basically the, the goal is to... Create, start from, you know, going up to a node, for example, like this is a iron node over here. This is an open iron node I haven't used yet. And not enough space, so I'm full. But you would normally hit E, and then you would just start, like, chopping at it with, like, a screwdriver to, like, get iron. And then you, like, put down a craft bench, which is right here. And then you, like, manually craft all your stuff until you get... Oh, the cr okay, so this is, this is, uh, this is Steve. There's, there's some indigenous creatures. This one, uh, this one sits here and waits to catch flies. Harmless. It looks like a flower. Um, the big one right here. This is Steve. He's annoying. He just like walks over stuff and you can uh, shoot him and then he just runs away. But he always ends up coming back and you'll find him like in your factories if you don't close off the walls. He'll just like walk into factories. Everybody tends to name their uh, whatever this thing is. And uh, mine's, mine's name is Steve. But there is ones that are hostile, but I have hostile creatures turned off just because I don't feel like dealing with them. And then there's there's these like little lizard dog things that you can find, and if you feed them a thing and pet them, they become your pet. And they'll go and find stuff for you. Like these are hostile enemies, technically. If I go up to this thing, it will... It's like a flower that lets off gas. It's like lets off a big dangerous cloud of see if it actually does it I think I walked away too fast there it goes kind of like throws out a pollen dust cloud like that there's these like 
hatcher things. They'll like hatch bees that are really in these things right here. And then this is a spitter. This thing like shoots toxins at you and stuff. They're, they're very annoying. Um, so I have them turned off. So I don't have to like fight stuff. I didn't really... I'm more on the creative end of this. I don't really feel like fighting. This is another factory I need to clean up. But yeah, it's just uh, a flow of belts and that kind of thing. And then, like I said, as you get parts, then you transfer them into these other parts and put them in the space elevator and send them off into space. And it goes all the way up there. And this is actually like a pod as well. This thing right here. In fact, let's see. What do I need for motors, by the way? I need to start making motors. Uh, I need stators. Yuck. Um. Okay, so copper and pipe. Copper and pipe. Where can I make this? I got a copper. I got to feed a copper right here and I got to feed a pipe on the other side that comes in right here. This one. There they come. Nope, that's this one's the pipe. Is it both of these? I think it's both of these. No, it is just the third one. So the third one is pipe. So I could split this off, run it out this way maybe, run it out over here, and make a little motor factory. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Smart splitter. Actually, I put that in the wrong spot. Uh, left is going to be overflow. Hopefully that feeds. Nope, it did not. It's okay. Okay, let's go this way. We don't need anything super huge for this. I believe it's just an assembler. I guess let's go up one more. Let's see, motor, 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 yeah. Uh, except I need stators. Uh, stators, son of a bee. Okay, I need rotors, stators first. This is the one that uses, how many of this make, five per minute? And then if I make another one of these, motor, motor takes 10 stators per minute. So I need two of these. So yeah, this is, this is the part where it gets complicated, right? Where you have to have, you know, 40, 40 per minute wire coming in here. 15 per minute steel pipe coming into these, into each of these. I probably don't have enough for that, to be honest. So Mark II belt. How much wire am I producing? I don't know. 
Where is my wire? Wire is 30. Okay, so I'm doing 120. 120 wire. One twenty wire. Is that it? Yep, that's it. That's going out. And then it goes down. I need to make a stairway in here too. <clears throat> down to here. Out to there. Okay. So we do have one twenty, which is more than enough to feed two forties. Question is, how much pipe am I making? Uh, we need a trip in the hypertube. Uh, so technically, the end to the game is completing all the phases, sending all the stuff off to the to the overlords in the sky, um, which eventually it like becomes with nuclear fusion and that kind of thing. So like, right there, there's like way more complicated stuff that I need to get to to make. Um, so yes, there is essentially an end. Um, but then the true, the people, it just like a lot of games, right? The true end game is people will go to great lengths to make factories bigger and cooler and like this is a really small scale factory off in the distance but like you saw it up close but this is a this is very small scale um like people have factories that are five square miles yeah you know? <laughs> like like the distance of this entire road system plus over there and that's just one section of their factory So, right, like, if you want cool, so this is doing 25 square miles, America. It's like 8 kilometers, or whatever the hell the conversion is. Okay, so we're making 40, so we're going to be pretty thin on those, but that's okay. I mean, like, so, so this section of the map right here is, you can't really see the whole map. You can see the edges, right? So this is the edge of the map, and this is the edge of the map, and then... It goes down to probably about here. It's like a square, right? So it goes up to here, down to about there, right? So if this was a square. Um, and this, from what you, where you see me traveling back and forth, like this is that area that I was building when I first opened up the game. This is the area that you see all this, like where I am right now is the Caterium site and the uh, steel factory is sort of in between. So like this is the space elevator right here and all of those little fat, those little factories over here. Just tell you how far that is in the distance. <laughs> that's, that's how much of the map you're looking at is basically from here to here. Or if I turn this way from here to here. And like, it just goes on and on. Like, this is my power. This is my power grid right here. I'll show you my power factory. This is purely to provide power to everything else. This is... Yeah, auto save. So this is coal factory. I, uh, I did encase one of these buildings. Yeah, I did. So this is all the water pumps to provide water to the factories that are 
smelting coal, basically. They're running coal power. And it basically takes 15 coal per minute and 50 meters squared of cubic meters of water. Not squared. Um, to run one of these power factories that generates 75 megawatts of power. And if I look at a power pole... I have 3,600 megawatts of total power out of this factory. And I'm currently using 13, 1,400, somewhere in there. The max consumption at any given point in time is 1,800 megawatts of power. So I'm, I have a surplus of about 1,800 megawatts of power. So I'm about half. Um, so if I need more, I need to build more somewhere else. Because I'm pretty much out of room on the water here. I could maybe build another row of eight, probably on this side, but uh, I'd made it this way in a two-story configuration so I could make more of them, right? <laughs> you know, like I guess I could like put more water, you know, I, but they would just be really sloppy. They'd just be like some water things down below, and I could just keep going up. But um, so yeah, this is. This is, each of these lines basically is 600 megawatts. So it's 600, 1200, 1800, 600, 1200, 1800. So, so that's my, my power facility currently. <laughs> and this is like, you make these, like, this is obviously all the piping and all the, all the hoses and stuff. And I have what you, you, you create what's called logistics floors like this to handle all of the the flow of of stuff so this is the flow of the coal coming in and this is the flow of the water coming in and the water pumps from here goes into this this is like a buffer so like if there's any loss of power or anything it goes up and then this is a pump that pumps it up the line and then the line then goes into each of these hoses that goes through the floor to each of these lines into here so and that's done um, I mean, it can go pretty quick. There's like people that like do like nerd speed runs of this stuff. Um, but like, that's also like not making it look cool or like being in straight lines like this. Like I'm a big fan of having things line up, you know, <laughs> like, or making roads that are fancy with lights and stuff and actual asphalt. So it looks like it's, you know paved you know oh you know what i need to do is check on this this is probably full um let's see oh this is doing over here that's right i left uh very very tall you can go very high in the sky to the point where you only see clouds put it that way like, if I just keep going up, you can go up to the top of these mountains. You actually build off the top of the mountains if you want. Like, as, as you get higher, you, you can see. Like, you can build all around this spire here. I don't think you can actually go to these mountains, actually, now that I say that. But yeah, you can, you can build a way up here where it just is cloud cover. You only see clouds below you. So, and it's still going. Like, you can just keep going up. So, yes, you can go pretty far. You can make very large factories. But yeah, there's like a big desert over to the east. That, like over, way over this way. Which is where like usually a lot of the end game factories end up getting built. Because it's very flat. But yeah, that's, that's those two big power factories from way up here. A little tiny factory. Here's my road. You can finally see it coming into view. There's the the main hub. Everything's really tiny from up here.
Okay, let's see how this thing is doing. We're not full yet. That one isn't. This one is. Ugh. Okay, well, I need to be doing some sinking of these. Uh, I guess let's just not worry about it for the moment. I should be making those into points, though. Like this was a, this was a real neat like pattern layout that I did with this where I just fed one line into eight. Then they, they all feed out. These all feed in and then this, this combination of all of this feeds these, which makes steel, which then makes steel, uh, beams, which are these. And then this one makes steel pipes. And these ones take the steel beams and concrete and turn them into encased beams at a whopping eight per minute. <laughs> so, takes a while to fill that thing up. And then they all go to these, these transport hubs and these little trucks I have like an automated route. These are all automated. They pick up the stuff. They drive down the road, down to the main hub over there. There's one going right there. You can see it right at my marker. Just driving down the road. This one's driving down the road. And they, they go down, they deliver their stuff, and then they loop back, they drive back, and they pick up more stuff. And there's trains. You can set up train lines. I don't have the trains yet. Um, but yeah, the trains is definitely like the ultimate source. That and drones. You can have drones pick up and drop off stuff as well. They're very large drones, but they are drones. So we need to... Uh, I really should think about sinking this stuff. I even have... I need to... I need to, ah, good. Make a few more AI limiters because I'm really low. This is what controls these, what are called smart splitters. And I can place a smart splitter here. Uh, smart splitter. One there. Okay. Um, let's. Oops. Me. How many things is this? Three. Okay. So if I go one, two, three down. Uh, except you need to go more than three. Eh, no we don't. No we don't. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna go like this. We're just going to make a single sink, I think, for now. 
just to get some of these getting turned into points. So the smart splitter allows me to configure it. So the center, I can say any, right? And then the right, I'm going to say overflow. So that way, only when this thing fills up, will the overflow go to the right. And then what I do with the right side, I drop it down below, like so. Um, this one will do left side. So it looks nice and synced up. So left will be overflow. And we take a conveyor, mark three, put it there and there. And then we take, let's see, how am I going to make this? merge properly without looking funny. Uh, okay, let's go. Mark three. Sound like that. Mark three. Sound like that. And then we'll put a merger. Feed the Mark three into that. Gotta go one more out. Um, so I did get back in the day, cause this is still technically early access. Um, so before they added the phase stuff, the stuff past phase five, I did complete all the way through phase five. Um, so I did, I did this before what I'm working on right now, but this was about where end game was before. Now there's all this new stuff, like the things for making templates and that kind of thing. Like it's all stuff that didn't exist before. Um, so that's kind of why I'm playing it again. And, and 1.0 is actually coming out really soon. So, um, so I am pretty excited about that because this game is like definitely a cool, why are you not on the line? Go up one there. Okay, and then I need to steal some power. Oh yeah, we were gonna we we're gonna make this on an angle before. Oh, I got another another craft bench over here. You can tell I do that a lot of places. I'll just like throw a craft bench down to like craft something quick and then I forget about it. Uh, let's see, where can I steal power from so it like makes sense? How about... What line is that on? Like that. And we'll go out to this corner. Oh, we can't go out to that corner. It's too far, apparently. And power that guy, and it'll start munching up that uh, leftovers. So yeah, now instead of it being full... And when it recognizes that this line is full, that the any line is full, then it will send all overflow to the left, which it is now doing. And then when this fills up, 
it's going to send the overflow this way, merge together into this line, and then it will both feed into here. And then this gets me more coupons. And we're not wasting stuff. Because, like, if you if you just let this turn off, it just it's kind of just wasting, you know? Like, this is actually kind of wasting right now, too, because I haven't built the second set of these. Here, I can show you blueprints. Let me show you blueprints. That's, that's this uh, little factory right here. Uh-oh, I can't build that over this. Crap. All right. Oh, it's... <laughs> uh... Except I don't... I need to knock a hole in here. I can see my thing. There we go. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, I know what I'm missing. I don't have the stuff. Good, good thing it's being made right here. Kind of like that. Except I need to turn these, uh, these splitters around. Yeah, like, how it builds things and, like, the, the chunks of the factory and, like, just, just all of that together. Um, they, like, put a lot of thought into, like, pressing buttons and crafting and, like when you when you craft this and it like kind of dissipates like that, or when you play something, it kind of like has this effect, right? That just is cool. Like that that kind of where it like assembles everything and you see it on the screen makes the makes the big chunk noise. It's very neat. All right, let's uh, ready to do mark ones. Yeah. I could probably get away with getting rid of that one just so it doesn't clip. And we'll throw some power up here. This guy. And we're going to copy, paste, 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 paste. So now the problem is going to be is this thing is... going to fill up really fast. So I didn't really need this right now, but um, 
That's okay. We might have to just make another sink. Yep, I think that's going to be the solution. Just make another sink. My entrance line. Entrance line is like there. No, it's not. Shoot. One more. No, nope, that's still not it either. We'll just feed that one into there. And this one. Into here. Like that. And then we got to figure out how we're going to merge this line with that line let's see this is how much 37.5 times 4 150 times 2 uh that's bigger than the belts that i have that poses a problem <laughs> that poses in a small issue. I guess we can just drop it down and yeah, what is it is what it is. I think we're just not gonna build the the second row just yet. We're just gonna merge this into that. Let's see how can I do that. We can bring it up over here. Send it underneath. Except this needs to be a mark two, three. Three, 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 three. three into there nope that's not what I wanted that is not what I wanted this this is a merger right I just have it turned the wrong way there we go mark three into there so that will feed into that one, and we'll just send this down and meet that over there. Give me that guy. Mark three down. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I want. Uh, what do I want? I want this one. Whoops. 
Uh, this one. This one needs to come down and go into that one. Okay, so... What we can do with this one, then, is actually bring them this way. What do I have coming down here? Oh, I did do Mark 1s. That's right, because they're 22. Okay, uh, so this... Down. 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 Merger. Go that way. One. Two. Three. Four. And then we need mark threes to go this way. Give me a floor hole right in line with that one. Like so. And hopefully that's not... Oh, yeah, okay, good. It's just barely good enough. I was gonna say, hopefully that's not, like, in the ground. And go like that. Belt those two together, and then we should have a line of stuff coming up here. That gets fed into this one. Makes this belt more full. Perfect. And that will fill that up really quick. And then the rest will get fed into the second sink, which I need to turn power on. Then we're good. Then we're good. So this is just a little cleanup. <laughs> just a little cleanup of what we needed to do to make this functional. Uh, we can get rid of that. All right, we got some of that. We got some of that. Give me, like, a little bit of those. All right. Now we're squared away over here. I totally forget what I was going to go do. Oh, yeah. We were checking to see how many uh, pipes we're making. So now we can make our staters. Because we have enough, we have enough copper and we have enough pipe coming from these two trucks. We might have, I guess we'll see how it plays out. This might take a little bit to like feed. See what happens. <clears throat> All right, so Left is overflow, right is any, middle is none, and we need to be, uh oh, save, run a splitter, let's run a splitter from this side. How much does this need? Not motors. Uh, staters. Staters. 15 per minute, 15 per minute. Okay, so mark one's enough. 
Mark 1's good. Okay, and then we need copper. So let's add another smart splitter. Uh, except it, it always does this. Okay. Right, I'll put any center is overflow. And how are we going to fish it through here? <laughs> this is a bit of a conundrum here. Hmm. So we have this whole belt set up here. I suppose we need to actually come further. Well, I guess let's... Go like that. And let's extend this out to here. Extend that out to there. And we'll go over the road again. Oh, I'm out of... Good thing those are right here. Me some of you. And how am I doing on those? We're good on those. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, we can make it all the way to here. Like that. And like that. Actually, we could just leave it up high. Because we gotta stay up high anyhow. Um, let's grab a conveyor pole instead. Like that. Okay. Feed into there. Feed into there. Splitter goes one, two, three. One, two, Great. And now I just need power. Uh, let's grab this. Where's our power? Go like that. Okay, now we're making 10 staters. 
And then we need a feed of rotors. Hmm, how many rotors am I making? This could be interesting. Motors take son of a B. Uh. Am I making? No, I'm not. I need more rotors. I don't even have enough rotors to run one of these. 10 per minute, 10 per minute. I, I, I knew that was a thing I was going to need to do soon was to increase the production of rotors. Ugh. So this is going to have to, this whole thing is going to have to get rebuilt now. I have more iron here at least. I have a lot more iron here. So we can increase this. It's just a big pain in the butt. Do I have... Do I have... Oh, I do have cast screws. I don't have cast wire, though. That's okay. Cast screws actually makes this a hell of a lot easier. Um, yeah, I guess we could redo this, too. We can redo that. Uh, okay, so... How do I want to handle this? Man, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Okay, so let's extend this out a little bit. Give us a bit of a storage area. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm ever going to hit the point of having spare. Because it's 10 per minute, and this is 5 per minute, and this is 5 per minute. So, yeah, it's never actually going to hit spare. So we could have just left that how it was. We just gotta leave, we do, we do need to leave room so we can feed in a second thing. That works. Motor. Merger. Like so. Don't need anything fancy for belts. All right, let's just grab. Oh, I have stacks of rotors. Let's just at least get it going. At least get it going. Uh, that's not straight. Throw a stack of motors, or rotors in here. Why are these stators not going? Oh, because I don't have any power. Uh, power. There we go. Okie doke. That's at least doing stuff. We are short on steel pipe. There comes more steel pipe right there. Yeah, there's going to be a constant 
flow issue. I think 15 per minute. That's got to be, what do you see? That's got to be about 20. I know sometimes you get a real large chunk of them. Yeah, there's like 40 right there. So maybe we just needed to let it catch up. We'll see what happens. It's going to feed these first is what it's doing. Because it's all sorted above. There it goes. There's all my... Oh, uh, I see. It's splitting it as well. Okay, so how many are in here? We need to speed this belt up. That's what we need to do. Let's make this belt faster. All right. So we need to do some math. We need. What up, JJ? We need a lot more rotors. So let's go for. I'm going to grab my planner. And we're going to put in rotors. Rotors. What does 12 look like? 12 looks like 135 units of ore. Um, let's add alternate recipe. Cast screw. See what that does. Twelve units a minute. Okay, so what if I make this sixteen units of rotors? What does that do? Hundred and eighty units per minute of iron ore. That sounds like a nice even number. Yep, sixty, sixty. So I just need this third one. I don't even need a fancy, I don't even need a fancy miner for that. Sausage, eggs, and some buttered toast. Hell yeah, dude, for dinner? I'm, sign me up, dude. That's dinner of champions. All right, so the question is, where can I build this? I should build it over here, actually. I should continue building this way, I think. Actually, no, that's where my road's gonna go. So we should probably build it out over here. Um, hmm. What do we got over here? There's three iron nodes over here as well. Iron. Normal. 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 So we could build it this way and just leave that going for now. And then we could just tear it down once it's all done. That would be the best route, I think. I think that's my best idea. Because then, then this will turn into, once it's done, We'll turn this into an increased plate factory on this side. So yeah, let's do the rotors first and then we'll tear this down. Keep coming back to Clash of Clans with my base destroyed by some Asian. That's great. <laughs> That's why I don't play those games. Those like mobile games where people can attack you. It's just it's just it's just asking for it. You're just asking for it to be toxic. Okay, so how do I want to... Ch 
How are we gonna get this? We can I guess we can go over the road. Give me one of these platforms. Okay, give me three miners. Nope, not from there. Three miners. One, two, three. Where is my other... Uh, It's clipping. We know like. Okay, let's fix that. See what that does. Eh, it's good enough. Okay, minor. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll face them all that way, except for this one. This one will face this way. This one will face that way. This one will face that way. We'll run this one down the middle. Oh, except it's going to be weird and... not quite line up. Uh, let's see. Let's make this line up right. I just think it's not going to line up. That's what's... It's just not going to... Okay. Played like eight years ago, then stopped and came back like two years ago. Man, that's crazy. That's a. Uh, as long as you're not like. I know there's lots of people out there that spend like an astronomical amount of money on those games too. <laughs> like just don't do that. Oops. Okay, we can get rid of this and then connect that. Okay, I think that should take care of that. Then we need to merge this stuff together. Well, that's 
barely gonna fit. Merger right there. That's good enough. It'll work. Yeah, it's not going to look the greatest, but it's okay. It's going to be covered up eventually. Okay, there we go. We got those three into a thing. This is going to be 60, 60, 60. So yeah, 180, 180 into 180 ingots. All right, so let's figure out how we want to do our, how tall do we want our little factory? Let's go like, Smelting floor can start there. What do we need? Smelters. I think it's... 180 divided by 36. Is that right? Why does that not seem right? Lover, not a fighter. <laughs> I'm confused. Do I need 180 or do I need... Oh, okay. I need 100. And then 80. Got it. Got it. It makes sense now. Uh, that's not going to reach. Nope. Oh, I could, I could go like this. I could do the smart way. And just make a floor hole. Like yay. Okay. Right, let's turn these on. Power. 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 It's going to bother me.
Close enough. It's a lot better. Okay, we have stuff coming out. All right. So now I need six smelters. So split one. Two, three, four, five, and six. It's almost like I guessed correctly on how many I needed there, almost. Okay, smelter, one, two, four, five, six. Here's my power. Power's on that side. One. Whoops. Iron. Okay. So let's get this piped in. Okay, so I need a hundred one way. So this will be 30, 60, 90. I got to take this one and do some creative splitting. Um, splitter. Ooh, I'm out of cable. <laughs> Hold. Give me some of that. Am I on wire? Let's grab another stack of wire. Uh, that I'm fine. That I am probably fine, but what am I doing on plate getting low? Screws, I'm good. Cable, cable. Oh, I was out. I was completely out. What's crazy? What did I miss? Oh, you're talking about the, the clan. That's funny. Okay. Well, get out of here, Steve. 
How did you even get up here? Freaking jerk, man, I tell you. Steve. Okay. Um, so we were going to split this one three ways. All right. So let's figure this out. We want to merge that way, that way, and then this way. And then this one is merge this way and that way. One there, one there, one there, one there. Okay. So this guy goes into this one. This guy goes into this one. And then this guy goes into this one. This guy goes into this one. And then this guy goes into that one. So that's 100 this way, 80 this way. Because it's 60, 30, 60, 20. And then 10, 30, 60, 90. So 100 this way. Get. Go on, get. He's just, he's just going to be stuck up here now. I'm going to have to, like, build him a ramp to get off of here. And then he's just going to crawl underneath it again. Whatever. Steve can be down here. All right. So now... I need another level. Level. And go up for it. Okay. Does does uh does it need to be on the water? No. So the only thing that needs water is the power plant currently. And that's way up there. I can show you the power plant. So this is the concrete plant. We just we just like revamped the concrete plant, which is why like half of it is open. Because we added more to it. So I need to finish out the fanciness of this building again. And we're probably just gonna attach it to this building actually and just make it like a skywalk. Um, and, oops, why is that there? I was testing things. So yeah, we ramped up our concrete production so we can get more concrete going. Um, this is our copper factory. This takes all of the things copper and makes them. And then some of it is now going over here to make this stuff. In fact, we should check on this. We need more rotors. We need more rotas. So we can continue to make motors. All right. And then this is going to be a replacement for this mess right here. That's going to this one storage container. We're just going to amp up our production of this. And then we're going to feed it over into this guy right here. This, the, oop, I'm saving. It lags a little bit when it's saved. So it's going to feed into the other input of this. Um, so basically, we're going to just build this out to be more this way. And then, way the heck over here, I'll show you the power plant. Actually, we'll show you the, we'll show you the hyper tube first. Hyper tubes are fun. So this is the road system that I built that basically transports the steel stuff from the steel factory, which is way over here on the other end of this road. 
This is uh, frames. This entire factory is making frames. Frames and screws, basically. This factory, this little factory right here, is making Caterium wire, which is used for electronics. It's like fancier wire. That's the power facility up there. So that's that's where we're getting all of our power from currently, but we're going to need to expand that probably pretty soon. But that's why we're doing motors, because motors unlocks fuel power, and we can then do oil. So we can do oil power instead of coal power, which is infinitely more scalable. So yeah, there's actually one of our trucks right now filling up with stuff from the steel factory. And it's taking off and driving down the road. Oh, it's filling up more stuff from there. Okay. And then this is the factory we were just working on, which is uh, quartz, which is again for high-end computer parts and then also glass. So this is silica and quartz. So this, this allows me to make things like signs. So if I want to uh, make uh, a large display sign. Not very large, but... If I, oh, excuse me, that's actually what these are. These lights are actually signs. And it's just signs with illumination turned on. As I'm like coughing, sorry. How's the sound, by the way? This is kind of a test stream for tomorrow. Hopefully sound and everything is good. I've been trying to like normalize everything, make it not too loud, too quiet. I'm moving my microphone here real quick, sorry. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the majority of my factory and the area that it's in is in this little area right here of the map. So to give you scale, this map is a big square, which I haven't uncovered mo the majority of it yet. So basically I'm only in like one little corner of the map currently is, is all this stuff. And this is my extremely large coal factory, which is producing power. Basically, I had this one, and we doubled it and made a second one. Uh, so everything has like a recipe like this. This is, this is doing coal, and then this is doing water, and then like this is also doing coal, and then like constructors and stuff, you give a recipe so it knows what to make. And then the little truck things, you have to like drive the path once and you record the path. So you basically like drive up to the pickup station, press a button to say pickup, and then drive down the path, drive down, get to the end, say drop off at the end, and then drive all the way back and close the loop. And then once you do that once, you just say play play path from steel to pub, you know? And they just both drive the same path. Like right now, this one's on its way back. It's on the return route. So yeah, the vehicles you need to like save a path for. So I drove this once. But then after that, yeah, that's it's fully automated. They're just doing their thing. And like drones, once you get drones, you can um you can pick up and deliver stuff with drones. And like the drones, you have to set factory names. You have to like change 
the outgoing drone station to the incoming drone station and you just say go to this other drone station and it just flies automatically to the next drone station that you you tell it to fly to okay so which part needed 80 80 <clears throat> Was that the rods? Iron rods, yeah. Rods and 400 screws a minute. That's crazy. All right. Thought I... Eight constructors. So we need eight constructors for the screws. Which side was my 100? This was my 100. Um, can I do this in a clever manner where it comes together? Probably not. I could. If I had more time to think about it, but... I'm kind of thinking... Let's see, so this is my 80... How many smelters do I need? I need six constructors for this. So what's what do we got for room up here? What do we have for room up here? Constructor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's my six. I do need a larger platform for the eight. Unless I do four and four, which I could do. We do a four and four. We still need to make more room, though. Unless I want it to go all the way to the edge, which I really don't. Okay, so let's... Uh... This is my iron rods. And this is 80, right? Yeah, so I need a Mark II. Let's see, where is this going? This is not where I need it to be. You are just in the way, Steve. Okay. Organization, logistics. Okay, that should take care of that. Give us a little turn right there. Give us a floor hole right here. And a Mark II for that. And a Mark II for that. Perfect. Okay, so... Iron rods. What is... 80 divided by 6. 13.333. So if I go like this and go in here and put that in the percent, uh, that's not what I wanted. 113.3? No. Uh, how do I do that math? 13 point, about 6 divided by 80. No, that's not it either. How do I get... Oh, I know, I know what I need to do. So it's 80 divided by 6 is 13.333. And...
Take this, put it in parentheses, and divide that by 15, and that gets the, gets us our percentage. We need to do 88.8889. Should be right. Let's see if that works. Nope. Okay. It needs to be eighty-eight point eight 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 I don't know how I keep doing that. Thank you for reminding me again. I turned my microphone off, apparently. I think I'm hitting my thumb button on my mouse on accident, and it, one of my thumb buttons is my uh, mute. I should just turn that off now, now that I actually have a good mic with a good mute. You should hear it now, hopefully. Testing one, two, three. Desktop, Discord, sa oh, satisfactory audio is off too. What the heck? How did I turn that off? I turned the freaking satisfactory audio off as well. What the foobar? Oh, you know what? I just realized something. The chat widget is in a weird place. 
nope, that's not the chat widget. It's the chat box. Chat box is in a place that is over stuff, and it's been that way the whole time. There we go. Different game, different place. That's alright. I don't know, like... I wonder if I... I wonder if you haven't heard the game sounds the whole time. <laughs> it's possible it's just been muted this whole time. Ah, <laughs> uh, scuffed. I'm extra scuffed. Yeah, this this has got like really good soothing background music and like the factory making noise. Like you're hearing all the all the hum of the stuff being made. Oh well, oops. Hey buddy. What are you doing? You need to go outside? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, I'll actually be back this time. I'm gonna only mute one thing. And let's see if the sound stays on. Okay, it does. Alright, I'm just gonna mute and go take the dog out. Yep, the factory's been muted for the last two and a half hours. You're probably correct. Okay, I'm gonna go let the dog out. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Hopefully sound is still working. Um, while we're thinking about it, I'm going to test something. Okay, that's kind of loud on my ears. I don't know if you actually... Did you hear anything there? You probably didn't, because it's probably turned off. Until I go to this scene. Let's turn this down. Media player, audio... Okay. Let me know if you see my new intro. Okay. That works. Was it loud? Or was it like, okay on volume? That's gonna be the new intro. Yeah, I can play it again. Now you shouldn't hear the factory, right? You're not hearing the factory right right and now. No factory. Okay, good. I did set that up correct. Okay. I'm playing. There you go, and then we have factory again. That's what I was trying to set up and I was screwing around with all my sound profiles and right, I, that's probably why things got muted. Okay, good. Sound seemed about the same level as everything else is, I guess, is what I was going for. Okay, so now we need, let's just make another. And then this guy will come Uh, this is only needs to be marked too. Yeah, I was talking to Artem about like how the game is like got like really satisfying like clicks and noises and things that are associated with like the ka chunks of placing things down and yeah, he wasn't hearing any of it. Oops.
eight. That is eight. Okay, so this is making cast screws. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And that is 12.5 times 8 is 100. Perfect. Okay. So then what I need is 100 in. One, two, three, four. Five, seven, eight. I didn't even need to go that far. Um, because we're not coming out with this stuff. Man, you have a fancy Clash of Clans clan. I know that sounded kind of like double negative, but... Place that one wrong. Uh, nope, looks right to me. Yeah, I just I don't like mobile games that I like that introduce FOMO, if you know what I mean by that fear of missing out. Where like if you if you don't play every day, you can like get behind and or get in trouble because somebody like stole all your stuff from your base. Like I, I never like those kind of games. Because sometimes I don't play every day. <laughs> Okay, so now I have this guy, all right, so yeah, we can bring that guy around the outside, and then we're only going to need probably a couple more rows here, and we need some assemblers. Ooh, leg. I think we were going for 16, weren't we? Hold on, let me check my thing. 16 rotors, yeah, so four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. So why don't we bring this guy this way? Uh oh, I'm out of plates again. What am I getting low on? Am I getting low on anything else? Merge and go that way. Oh, 
No, not that way. This way. So we're going to want to come up high with this one, probably, and we'll go down low with this one. Like... Okay. Splitter. Go that way and that way. That and like that. And then splitters two, three. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. I need to keep going. There is four of these, not two. go in a lot. These are making... What am I making here? Rotors. <laughs> Forgot. 100 screws a minute. Okay, so these need to be Mark IIs. Oh, shoot. That's right. Uh, crap. This is going to be difficult. Because I got to do four and then go this way. All right, we're splitting these up. We're making this line longer. Um, how are we going to manage that, though? Let's go like this. Go about like that. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And we need to give this a little bit more room. One, two, three. And we need to change this one to go out that way. Oh, except that's not going to work. Uh, poo. Um, hmm. <laughs> nope, it's got to go the other way. We just can't connect them. We got to go like this. And then we got to put uh, one of these guys. Mark three. Here, and turn it this way. One, two, three.
There we go. Like that. That's how we solve for that. Take that out. Put this in. Mark three in. Mark three in. And these are all making rotors. Paste. 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 Okay. We got it. We figured it out. Okay, so now... Where's my power on these? Let's go around front. Okay, we got power. Then we just need to handle this. These are doing 50 each? Yeah. These can be Mark 1s. Right, this needs to be Mark 3. And that should start kicking those guys off. Which means we need to make some storage. Um, merge. 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 Uh, merge this way. Leave room in case we want to put a sink in here. We are going to have to split this off, actually. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to split it off. And that's okay. So, for now, it can just go in there. So, this is making... Yeah, eight a minute here. And then we'll finish this line. Uh, we need to continue this line, though. So this is how many? We got 80 coming out of here, right? And we're only using 40. So these should be filling up, right? Yes, they are. Okay, good. <coughs> All right. Let's get a splitter. One there, one there. Two, three. Three. Okay. In there and in there. And let's do some Mark 1s into this fella. Like that. And a Mark 3 going this way. And a Mark 3 lift. Going that way.
Uh, what did I mess up here? I put it the wrong way. Yep. This merger is facing the wrong way. Whoops. Merger that way. down like that and like that <laughs> and voila are you bullying people in your in your game that's not very nice okay <clears throat> I think I think we got everything we need here We have all the are all these things working What's going on with this uh it's like full why am i full oh because it's mark one <laughs> mark one Yeah, whoops. Okay, what's this up here? What do we have up here? Is this a Mark 1? That's a Mark 2. That's a Mark 2. That's a Mark 2. Okay, that should be feeding properly now. I think. Let me think, how many is this? This is... Picking on people, I tell ya. That's what I mean, though. You play those games, and if you're like the lobby, they're just like, oh, fresh meat. They're not even there to defend themselves. Uh, okay. What do we got going on here? What kind of... What kind of belt holdup we got going on here? This is making... There should be... Oh, loading. Should be feeding this properly. <coughs> it appears we are. What are we missing from these screws? Why are we not... Oh, because these aren't... These are suffering on the amount of... What do we have going on here? It's, uh... This is 30. I feel like we need faster belt. I think... Whatever is going on here, this is not the right speed belt. So let's just make it up Mark 3. Mark 3. Mark 3. Mark 3. Mark 3. Mark 3. Mark three. 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 And three. See what that does. See if that fixes our backup. So the problem with this type of system is... Yeah, it's like super backed up over here. It's because it was making screws forever. What do we got over here? Is that, is that starting to catch up? Yeah, it's starting to catch up. 
The ones at the end of the line, because this is a hundred coming in, right? So it's a hundred and you split it equally, it goes 50 to the right, 50 this way. Then this is now a line of 50, so then it takes this 50, now it's 25 this way, 25 this way. So it's got to like keep splitting it, and then what ends up happening is this gets full, so then it takes the 25 that was going here and keeps pushing the 100, or the 50 that was going this way, pushes 100 this way, and then it slowly works its way down the line. But I, I am, uh, I needed to increase belt speed to get it to the point where, so like this one's 58, this one's full, so this one's full, this one's full, this one's only 58, 59, 60. So it's slowly going up, right? So this is the next one to fill, and then this one's a little lower. This one's only at 26. This one's only, this one's like barely hanging on. And this one's also barely hanging on. So we just gotta let it, let it fill the line, build the manifold line. Like this one's nice and full. This one's already taken care of. Uh, unless I put the wrong line. I put the wrong line to the wrong place. No, I didn't. This is 30. This is 30. And this is 30, but 30 is being split three ways. So 20 this way, 30, 30, and 20 is 80. And this way is another 10 plus 30, 30, 30. So that's 100 this way. So this side needs 100, this side needs 80. Okay, <clears throat> I think we are now officially making 16 rotors a minute instead of 4, which is good. That's what we needed. So that means I can... What is being fed this way? Uh, Alright, let's, let's start shutting some of this stuff off. Let's just shut this guy off. Let it run out. This whole line can stop. We're gonna lose screws here. I guess we can just shut this whole thing off. Let's just shut this off too. Let it run out. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, reinforced plates. So yeah, then we're gonna redo this one the same way. And then eventually what I have to do is I have to feed this down to here. This thing is like super full too. Uh, what do I need for that? Let's see if I can show you the... Uh... Oh yeah, I think that's enough. I can show you this this little shuttle launching. Oil processing. Yep, here we go. Oh, I need a little bit of... Just a little bit. Of ye old pipe. Okay. How's this line doing, by the way? Is our pipeline full? No, it's not. It is like barely hanging on, isn't it? It's probably... It's probably running out regularly. That's no good. Oh well. Oh well. All right, so oil processing, select milestone. So what you do is you feed it with this stuff, give it some stuff, give it some more stuff, give it some more of that stuff, and then this big red, big red button comes up. So you can, if I get a little bit further away, this shuttle 
is now filled with stuff. And like, just pressing this button is extra satisfying. So I see it. It like launches. Position and refining unlocked. Oil-based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Caution: This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Love that. I wonder if I could sneak a line underneath here. Bet you I could. Bet you I could sneak a line underneath here. Run the three... ...lines underneath. That would be pretty slick. And we could bring it back up and build it over here. Should have done that with this one. Which is the one that needed rotors. Oh well. I could bring the rotor line underneath. That would still be really cool. Uh, except... I would like... A big container. It's Fox. What's up, buddy? Yeah, this is this is my main one that I've been working on, trying to like get progress on. It's uh it's a lot going on. It's a lot. I'm trying to clean up the stuff on the ground finally. I I still need to clean I just still need to like fancy up my factories. There's a lot of like just platforms in the sky as I call it, and this one I just tore open today <clears throat> and made it bigger. Uh, ooh, we have a we have a flow issue here. Here's our flow issue. Mark three is getting hold up held up somewhere. What do we got? Interesting. Why is this one? Oh, I see it. I think I see it. There's a little piece. Yep. There's a little piece of Mark II right there. I was holding that up. There we go. Just a little tiny piece of Mark II is all it takes to screw up your line. This one looks like it's flowing properly. And this one should now flow properly. How's that looking now? This line is losing. What do we got going? Oh, is this full? This is full. That's why they're off. What's going on with their out outline? Oh, it's because so this line feeds all the way down through the copper factory, all the way down into the main hub. And then in the main hub, if I go down inside the bottom in the logistics floor, this is where everything comes in. And then it all gets smart split off into this one line for a uh sink awesome sink to make points and the problem is i have too many things that are full that are feeding into this one line <laughs> so i need to like either make another sink or try and get the next upgrade of line which is coming up 
Uh, I think we're actually very close to that one. Let's see. Pod's going to return in like seven minutes. So let's see. Food transport. Logistics, Mark IV. There we go. Ooh, we need computers for that. Yuck. Yuck, it's time for computers. Yuck. Oh, no. No. Yeah, and I need that. I do need that for fuel. For fuel power. Oh, wait. Oh, I got oil processing. Refinery. Oh, I don't have the fuel power. Okay, so I don't even have fuel power yet. This is just oil for making plastic. Oh. Ooh. Manufacturing is coming up next. The next thing is going to be... Uh, four into one. So four inputs into one creating one thing. And that's when I start making modular engines and adaptive control units for the fact for the people in the sky. Um, Jetpacks are coming up. It means I could in theory turn off flying finally. Um, conveyor belt mark four. I really do need that. I really do need that. That's weird. I can already scan for Caterium Ore, I thought. Um, weird. You're playing on a computer, shush. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's trains. So that's the uh, the train functionality. Yikes. This is, this is where it gets hard. I can get Mark II pipes. So yeah, we need to, uh, there's a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do yet. We need to expand. We need to become bigger. This is just a micro factory in terms of what we're gonna need. Like this is baby, baby stuff. This little stuff right here, it's making like 20 or 40 frames a minute or something out of this. What is this making? The end goal of this. Oh, I'm making reinforced plates out of this. Oh yeah, because I need them for this. Two, four, six, eight. This whole thing is making eight frames, modular frames per minute. That's what this is doing. The rest of it is not getting not even getting not even hitting the thing it's all getting sent to the main hub to these lines that go down that main path we could double this we could make it you know, saving like we could this yeah this is mark one wow this must be pure i didn't realize that this was pure up here Yep. Or do I have that overclocked? No, that's pure. And that's pure. Uh, I didn't realize I found two pure nodes up here. So this is... We're cranking out tickets now. Nice. Um, hmm... We're going to need power to... What's our power looking like? I just made a whole gigantic... One one use thing for 16 rotors a minute. Uh, yeah. Max consumption is now up to 2,000. If everything's running. Which it's not, currently. I have a lot of inefficiencies going on. Uh, these are turned off, so they're slowly... Sinking themselves out of stuff. That is a bug. These belts don't have stuff on them.
those do. When they're not moving like that, but yet this is going down, it's it's just bugged. Um. Hmm. You're in number 48, very top and never bottom of the clan. <laughs> That's funny. Why you got a dog on him like that, JJ? Jeez. <clears throat> so yeah, this will slowly run out. And then this will... Oh, do I, not, do I have a smart splitter here? Yeah, I do. What did that just do? Oh, that was extra plates. Because this makes extra plates than it's supposed to. This is like a really inefficient factory. Um, Let's see. How's this doing? We still have some issues. Oh, it's just because it's full. We're, we're having fill-up issues. We make this a Mark III too right away. No, it's it's just full. It's just full. I think we're possibly making slightly too many rods. I don't know, or it just wasn't on for enough. I don't know if you're asking me or him, JJ. Sounds sounds like uh, clash talk. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're in an okay spot. Um, let's see. Let's see. What time is it? I got a, I got an hour or so before I need to do some sleeping. Let's see if we can't fix something else up. What else do we need? We need so we have now motors kind of being made. Kind of half half sort of kind of Alright, so we, oh, it's saving a lot, which means it's probably going to start lagging just at random. Sometimes it does this. You still here, Fox? I'll show you my power. What we got going on here? Oh, this is Caterium. Caterium is just permanently full. Suppose I can take another stack. Okay, here we are. This is this is building one of the coal factory. I was thinking about actually building it out into the waterfall. So this is uh, building one. Goes through three rows of eight each. So 24 coal. And then another 24 here because I needed to expand it so we doubled it. Water's underneath. Water's being here. There's a couple of Steve's down here just hanging out. Um, just swimming around with the water pumps. But yeah, we have our water pumps down here. Extra fluid buffers. It's a busy place. This is this is generating all of our power for the map so far. 
Uh, let's see, what else do we need? We need... We need... To start thinking about... Um, let's see. I just want to take a look and see what I need to be making next. Constructor... Okay, so we got quartz and silica taken care of. We got quick wire, cable wire, steel beam, steel pipe. So we could probably increase steel. Steel's gonna need to be increased as well. Um, so we could work on making steel larger. Uh, okay. What about assemblers? Assemblers, we have rotors, stators, motors now. We have encased industrial beams, modular frames. Um, we don't have these automated or these automated yet because they're just way too complicated. And it also means I need to increase steel production as well. Fabric, I don't need to be automated ever. AI limiters are part of computers, aren't they? Hold on, let me look. Let's go back to the planner. And item. Circuit board needs plastic. Uh, fused modular frames, we're gonna need to do those. What about heavy modular frames? That we know we need a ton of. Uh. So it takes steel beams, steel pipe. Oh, it takes industrial cased beams. Okay, so I need to make these and these to put them together to make heavy modular frames. Yuck. That's, that's like a gigantic, probably... 700 800 ish iron ore per minute plus coal plus several assemblers to make like five heavy modular frames a minute let's see how much is one okay so if i make one what is five five is 1237.5 units of iron ore per minute And 375 of limestone. <clears throat> now, mind you, Mark III miners go up to 7... Or Mark V belts go up to 720. So you can, you can have a maximum flow of 720 per belt. So, I mean, this is, this is something that, like, becomes trivial later on, but... It's, uh... Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. It's free. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What was I going to look for? I was looking for computers. Computers. Zero. And computers. What do I need for computers? I think I need the assembler for that. Yep, I need manufacturers for that. So that's a four input. And computers require for how many computers are made? Oh, I need circuit boards. Oh, yuck. So I do need to make circuit boards. I need to start making circuit boards, which means I need to start making plastic. Okay, so if I'm making like four computers a minute, I need 348 cubic meters of crude oil 
230, which turns into 232 units of plastic. Screws, copper, so 196 copper ore, 52 iron ore to make four units of computers a minute. Which ends up making these things up here. Those, whatchamacallit, thingers. Whatever the heck those are called. Um, I'll get to it. Eventually. Adaptive control unit. Yeah, and then the end is nuclear pasta. <laughs> Where you have to c combine several nuclear components that you can't stand by. Otherwise you'll die. And modular engines, I believe, also require engines... Motors, let's see, motors, stators, rotors. So yeah, steel, copper, so that means copper, coal, iron. That's actually not that bad to make the modular engines, believe it or not. It just requires a lot of stuff that's really slow, including smart plating. So it means I should probably start thinking about automating smart plating as well. Um, because that is not automated currently. Which means I need even more rotors. <laughs> it's just a like, never-ending cycle. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, what about... What about... What else do we have here? Add item. I'm just looking through. Um, heat sink cooling system. Oh, that's interesting. I never heard of these things. Used to dissipate heat faster. There's a cooling system, and then there's also a turbo motor. Oh, I need high speed connectors too, eventually. You do need supercomputers at some point, and then also quantum computers. Radio control, yeah, so I mean, it gets like super complicated. But, and this is all the stuff that I haven't really, like I'm getting into the cusp of things that I haven't done in this game before, because like I said, I stopped around when it was still, I think tier five or six was the maximum. Um, so yeah, the, all the, the 7, 8, and 9 stuff I've never done. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, plutonium. You have to deal with plutonium and then it's waste. And you can't be near it to make the nuclear pasta, so it's like really difficult to make because you have to like send it off really far. Like set it up, feed it from really far away, and then like never go near it again. Hope that it doesn't shut down or you have to fix something. But it does go from non-reactive, like reactive to non-reactive to non-reactive again, or whatever, to reactive and then non-reactive again. Like it just, it alternates best based on what phase of the process it's in to where it can be picked up and handled and you can be near the machines. So there is always like a place where you can turn it off, right? Like you can just shut it off. right there's rockets too thermal propulsion rockets nuclear pasta magnetic field generator are the last space elevator things man this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun there's so much stuff to do yet there's so much stuff to do okay so let's uh i just want to take a look at my steel and see if i left myself room i don't think i did I don't think I did. Steel's over here. No, it definitely looks like I didn't. Because I'm a dummy. 
some of the platforms do, but definitely not this one. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to extend that, though. It would not be too difficult. We could extend that. So, yeah, this is the iron intake. We'd have to... Sorry, dummy. <laughs> oh, this is already 240. Uh, we are maxed out on belt. So we can't go any higher. This is as, high, as much as we can produce of steel right now with the, with the, unless we like find more coal and more iron and double it. Cause yeah, this is a 120 and this is a 120 and this is a 120. So we have our 240 and a separate 120 coming in. Where's this one going? Oh, that's right. This one's, this third one is literally just feeding. This is fuel. The extra coal I'm feeding into these two plants. This is refueling the trucks. So the 240 and the 240 are feeding these. And that is as much as you can fit on the belts that I have right now, which is feeding these, creating steel beams. And then the rest of it is going over here and mathematically fi figured out exactly correct. This one actually worked out perfect. This one, I got a, I got a little bit of a, a bit of a hiccup on this one. What we got going on over here? I think we're just shy. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, this is already Mark Three. Never mind. We have a, we have an input. We have an input. We have an input issue. What happened here? Oh, it is full. That is why. It's not an input issue. So what is this taking? 30 per minute, 30 per minute. And this is taking 60 per minute. And 60 per minute. Why am I sending 120 here when this is only using 60? Uh, maybe that's the problem. And this is 60, 60, 60, and 60. So that's a 240. I can't be any more than that. And it's using 60, 60, 60, 60. Oh, hey, there's our problem. We have five here. Uh, okay. Then, what did I do wrong here? Uh, I think I know what I did wrong. I think I know exactly what I did wrong. So this one's supposed to go... This one is enough to feed these two and be good. This one is supposed to go up here to this one by itself and feed one of these at 60 a minute and then the other 240 is supposed to feed the other four this has been wrong for a very long time so let's fix this uh yeah let's fix this let's fix this all right we're shutting you off for a second we're just gonna shove this in a machine congratulations have some steel ingots um, okay, so this one, this one, this one, and let's get rid of this too right away while we're at it, and let's feed this that away. Okay, now... We need a floor hole. Oh, why is my chat not scrolled? Sign. <laughs> Math is hard. <laughs> eh. I mean, it's not, it's not super hard. It's just when you screw up. 
because your math was correct. Your math was exactly correct, but you screwed it up because you just didn't pay attention. Splitter. Okay, splitter. You go there. You go there. You go directly into this one. Just like that. You go there with the input this way. Into. Whoop, 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 nope, nope. I put the input the wrong way. Okay. Nope, I put the. that the wrong way. Like that, and like that. Oops. And, oop. Like that. Okay, so now that'll handle the 240. Coming out of these four. So we gotta turn this guy. Bring one down like this. And bring one down like this. And then... My dog just did a sleep bark. He's barking at somebody in his sleep. Um, why is this? What do we got going on here? What's this? Oh, that's correct. Merger that way. Yep, I did that right. Okay. That's not right. that. Okay, so that's going to start feeding that guy. Just dump the rest of these in here somewhere. And then this one guy is going to do a bit of a turn um, this way. Like that. Now this should accurately feed these two. This one will feed this one. The 60 per minute that it needs. And then I could have just run these all individually up as well, but. Boop. <coughs> A little bit of a little bit of loading. Okay, so then this is gonna continue feeding these. Oh, it actually didn't run out, that's the funny part. And this is never gonna fill up, I don't think. Yeah, that one's never gonna fill up because this is the exact amount of concrete that these need. And this is the ex this is overflowing, I think. If I remember correctly. Right is any, left is overflow, yeah. Okay, perfect. So how much are we making here, by the way? We're making 15 times 5. 15 times 5 is 75. And these are using only 16 per minute, so... That means we should be sending 75 minus 16 minus 16. 43 should be going to the trucks eventually once this line fills up. Once this all fills up. Yeah, it's, it's starting to back up. Just ever so slightly starting to back up. 
There we go. Almost. Let's make sure that these are these are all green now. These are all green now. Those are all green. Those are all green. All right, I think we fixed it. I think we fixed it. Now we're getting more steel, which is what we need. We're going to need a lot more than that, but these are okay to be yellow because they're waiting for trucks to arrive and I just only have two trucks because that's all I need. I probably don't even need two. I could probably get away with one. Just not that much stuff going over there. And this is also not going to fill up ever after we changed it up to send everything to the base. So we could probably take that out, but... So now we have room for... We could possibly expand a little bit, but we would need to go this way. And we would need bigger belts. Okay. So that would work. And this is staying caught up. Yep, that's staying caught up. That's like over full, which is fine. Yeah, this is this is how many of these uh, encased beams I'm making. A whopping eight per minute. All of that, eight per minute. <laughs> <clears throat> and those are getting shipped off to the other facility as well. Okay, so I think this one's good. This one's good. This one's definitely, like, super good. It's making us a whole bunch of tickets as well. We could blueprint in the, the last part of this. But then I would need a third sink. Because I just don't have the belt speed. And yeah, these are full. These are very full. So yeah, now we have plenty of this in case we want to do windows and buildings. We can start making stuff look cool. So I think that's what we're going to start doing next is we're going to start like really cranking out the cool looking stuff. Fix a lot of these platforms in the sky. And like encase this. Probably put like Maybe some sort of structure around this to like encase it or maybe a glass around it. It'd be kind of cool looking. Make it like a glass tube that all the stuff is flowing through. And so yeah, we're good here. This is looking still green. Every time I go past it's green. It's good. Let's take a look at this factory. I'm pretty sure this factory is also efficient, but just make sure. Make sure I didn't screw something up like those other ones. I bumped my gain. My volume loud. Nope, I didn't bump my gain. It's actually down. I think I just got closer to it. Move the mic away. on arm agree with me now there we go that's better <clears throat> yeah and I'm probably gonna redo this road at some point because I just don't like it being it doesn't need to be this wide it was an extreme waste of concrete <laughs> like a extremely large waste of concrete But this is only a small section of road. We need a lot more. Yeah, this is all green. Okay, so I did this one right. This one looks good. To look like down here. Green, 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 green. Nice. Yeah, this one I just did one, one for ones. So I just sent it all up individually because there was sort of some weird organization to this. This this required a ridiculous amount of math to figure out all the different coordination of making the screws and sending different amounts of screws to different places to make plates. And like I said, this this is purely for these four assemblers right here. Two modular frames times four. So eight modular frames. All of this 
And the only thing that's really extra... There's a little bit every once in a while of rods. I think I'm making like five extra iron rods per minute and I could just like scale one of these down and then that wouldn't be the case. I could just underclock it. And I'm making extra screws which I'm sending. This is my supply of screws that's at the base. So all other screws are just being made exact. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what we got so far. I guess we could, uh, we could maybe start thinking about doubling this guy. This one I actually have set up to double already. I thought ahead with this one. I just need to put stuff on these black things, double the things here. The only thing I'm not really looking forward to is I gotta make a better way to get in and out of here. When I didn't have windows, it was easy to just like fly in the window, but um, this, this nonsense right here. Uh, I don't really know what to do about this. Cause we'll have to like remass all of the input or we'll just have to manifold it and hope that it fills. Uh, yeah, that could be sort of a pain in the butt. Yeah, because there's, there's like multiple splitting going on here. But I mean, we could just manifold this. This is just a four-way. We just made it so it was exact to each of the four. And this is exact to the, each of the two. So, I mean, I mathed it out down here in the logistics floor. So, yeah, I think I think we're okay with this. Like I said, we're not really getting to the point of needing the extra. It's just going to make the flow to the hub even worse. Let's see, you know, let's see what it's going to take to start unlocking other things. How about that? Let's see. Let's feed another hundred of these in there as well. We can start shutting this down here soon. We'll have to rebuild this soon. I just I want to let it run out. Yep. Okay. Let's go over here. See what we got for our next send off. I don't really care about this is all plastic shit. I need to I need to start doing oil. All right, let's look at oil. Let's look at oil. We need refineries, some motors. Uh, let's see. How do I handle this? I think you take the There's a pattern for a refinery. Let's just set one of these down here quick. So you take the refinery, you feed it oil. So the green is in, and you can do, I'm sorry, the orange is in. You can do either liquid in, which is the circle, or square in, which is the right side. And you can have it make various products, which then in turn creates various byproducts. So, you can, for example, make plastic, which requires polymer resin and water, but we don't have any polymer resin, so how do you get polymer resin, right? You need to make fuel, which creates from the crude oil, you take the fuel, you turn it into resin and fuel, so then you take that resin put it into a different refinery with water to make plastic or for example rubber rubber crude oil creates two rubber and two heavy residue oil and you can make residual fuel with heavy residue oil 
So there's like all these different recipes this is where it gets really complicated. Battle blimps. Flame flingers, dude. Flame flingers. That sounds like a really awesome name. So yeah, we have to figure out... Oh, this is where you can use up your heavy residue oil. So this is what... This is a, a very good way, from what I understand. What uses petroleum coke? Um, I don't know if there's a way to tell. If there's items that use petroleum coke. I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. Huh. How about inputs? Petroleum coke. How about that? Nope, that doesn't help me. Buildings. Nope, not buildings. Resources? Items? There we go. Items. Coke on this list. Here it is. Uh, it's all alternate recipes. Okay, so you can get alternate recipes that use petroleum coke to make things like circuit boards or aluminum scrap or steel ingots, which is crazy. You can use iron ore and petroleum coke to make steel ingots. Makes a lot, too. Turbo. Oh, this is where you get turbo fuel from. Uh, okay. So I, I'm not really going to have a use for petroleum coke. So what we should do is we should figure out and then we'll just sink it. We'll just throw it into an awesome sink. Uh, man, 40 creates 120. So you have to, like, deal with a lot of it. What do I get from this? Plastic. So... Four... Things of crude oil? What's the thing of crude oil? I don't know how much crude oil comes out of a thing. Maybe one? But I would need four refineries to deal with it. To make 40. And then that would make 80 plastic... And then the rest could be turned into coke in one factory, one refinery. And then I could just take it with a Mark II belt, throw it into a sink. So I could have 80 plastic going. And then what does rubber do? Rubber, ah, oh, there's more heavy oil residue. Uh, okay. So rubber doesn't make as much. That kind of sucks. I guess I don't really need fuel yet. Yes, it turns into coke. Petroleum coke. Right there. It is used in alternate recipes. And, uh... Also, um... If you are... I, I won't even go there. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so I can make 40 plastic, 2 rubber, or 20 rubber, or I could double it. Polymer resin, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, petroleum coke. Okay, so we do have to eventually make fuel. But for right now, I don't think anything I have needs fuel. Because we don't have the fuel plant and we need plastic and rubber to get those. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Have a look-see right here. Okay, so alternate fluted transport requires engines, frames, plastic, right? Cast mass, plastic, rubber. This, uh, motors, plastic, rubber. Tier 6, logistics is rubber and computers and these things, heavy modular frames. This one's, oh, there's finally the first fuel. Okay, so jetpack needs fuel because the jetpack requires fuel to run and also you can fuel your vehicles with fuel, I guess. So if I wanted to, like, set up a fuel transport and also locomotives use fuel you heard jj not jk <laughs> that's good yeah yep that's a good one okay so i think the next step is oil we need to start making plastic and rubber so on that note let's do some planning let's do some planning so i need output plastic and it's 20 i think it is Refinery one, okay, yeah. <clears throat> and it creates... So, 40 plastic. And... 20, I believe it was, rubber. Rubber, rubber, where are you? Where did you go? Here it is. Rubber 20. Alright, so that requires 90 cubic meters of crude oil, which turns into 40 plastic, 40 heavy residual oil, 20 rubber. And then add item petroleum coke 120. That's not true. I don't need that much, because that is that is a byproduct of creating them. So, I don't need that. Let me just make sure. Let me take a look at the recipe. Yeah, so if I make two sets of those, I'll have 20. And one set of these, I'll have 20. So that's 40, which is enough to feed one of these. So, I don't even need to have this as... I'm just going to make that zero. Okay, so I need... I double this 80 and 40 I need 180 cubic meters of crude oil so we need an extractor normal is 120 okay so we need like a normal in an impure or a normal and a second normal that's cut to half or a normal overclock to 180. And our pipes can handle 300. So we're okay there. And I guess we could like make a little bit of fuel. What do we make from fuel though? What do we make from fuel? Let's look at this again. Fuel 
makes polymer resin, which is another thing we need to deal with. Or we could just sink that off as well. We could just throw that into an awesome sink. Um... <clears throat> what does polymer resin make? Polymer resin and water makes rubber. And that's... Oh, and residual plastic can make... So you can make more plastic and more rubber with this if I have fuel. But I don't have the use for fuel currently, so I think we're just going to not... We'll just underclock or overclock something. Okay, so that means we need yeah 1.5 oil extractor so i just need to overclock one so i need an oil extractor it's gonna make my list one two three four five six six refineries Actually, we need two more to deal with the coke. So, say eight, seven, eight. And then... Yep, okay, so it's going to be 80 of that. We need some miscellaneous. We'll probably grab some extra sheets. Cable, steel pipe. We're going to need power. So, let's grab a couple of... Let's grab like, I don't know, five or so power towers. Make sure we have enough for that. Okay. Let's go shopping. Let's go to our list. And then we gotta look in the map and see where... Copper sheet. Copper sheet. Let's grab some extra because we're gonna need that for pipe. Uh, we're gonna need some motors. We, need, we don't need screws. We don't need those apparently. Um, how many? How many of these do I have? Let's grab one more stack of those. Let's grab. I guess that's it. That's what I can carry. Oh shoot! We need. We need some concrete. We need a whole bunch of concrete. And we need more motors. We don't have any motors. Actually, we do have some motors. Where are my motors? It says I have some. What did that say? 50 of 95. Where's my motors? Oh, right there. Okay. Um, hmm. I need more. Oh, here. I can get rid of this. Grab some concrete. Conda Creek. Uh, yeah, we need another stack for motors, too. I guess we don't need all of these rotors. Yeah, let's just throw another stack of rotors in that thing. Grab a stack of motors out. Um, I think we're good there. That look right? That looks like we have excess in a well amount of excess in everything except for steel pipe. Which is okay, because I don't think we need steel pipe for anything else. We might need some cable. Might need some cable. I guess we'll just have to come back. If it comes down to it, we might have to come back. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. The map is... Oh, there's oil right... Oh, that's geysers. Where is the oil that I was going to use? This is it right here. Oh, that's nitrogen gas. That's not oil either. Um, oil is... Oh, there's oil over here. Over here. 
normal ooh there's a pier I could just slap a pier on and down clock it that'd be hot and this is like really close too it's like right over here it's right over here in the water Let's go over here. <clears throat> Crude oil. Should should go bedeep bedeep right here, yeah. There we go. There's the pier. And this has got to be the normal. Yep. There's another normal. There's a bunch of nasty. There's a bunch of really nasty enemies over here. Pier. Okay, sweet. We got a whole bunch of oil over here. All right, so we're gonna use this pier. Let's uh, let's get rid of this thing first. Freaking annoying things. Not enough space. Okay. Um, I guess let's kill this one too because it's here they're just gonna constantly be in the way yeah we're not far at all from our base in fact I can see our concrete factory from here this will be like a beltable trip I'll just belt this crap into the hub Problem solved there. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I would like concrete foundation, thank you. Go. Okay. And let's put up a oil extractor. Oh, we're gonna need to run power. I totally forgot to run power. Um that's okay. We'll handle it here in a minute. Once we handle getting this stuff. We wanna keep it low. What is this? This quartz. I may as well grab it. Oh, I can't pick it up. Just kidding. Not picking anything up. We're just going to keep it low so I don't have to run pumps to pump it up. Alright, so... Yeah, we're just going to go out over the water with this. Like so. And... Like so. Okay, so this should be doing 240, right? Uh, yep, 240. Okay, so I only want 180. <clears throat> Just got into SR and flipped. He's, he's good for, uh, you know, extra cool info. Oh, hey, Fox, are you here? I just realized I had this screen open. I'll give you a little I'll give you a little uh a little sneak peek. A little sneak peek. You ready?
All right, sound off. There you go. It's my new intro. Okay, so let me start production planner again. Yeah, 180. Yeah, this is like a super simple recipe. Okay. Um, we just need to have a bunch of pipe to extend out over the water, which is okay. Okay with that. In fact, we're going to just like keep bringing it this way. We're just going to like bring all the all the stuff this way. Then the then the transport of plastic is not very long. And we can expand it with the other nodes that are out here. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I got uh, got some new editing software and decided to just give it a whirl. And I played with it for a day and kind of kept doing little tweaks and little ads. And I don't know where that other one went, but whatever. It's probably underneath there forever. Okay. Uh, it's okay. So let's get some pipe. Pipe, 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 pipe. Where are you? What screen do I have you on there? That one. Organization. But I want that one. That one. Why do I keep hitting the wrong button? Oh, you watching uh, the other? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's give us a fluid buffer. Uh, no, nah, we don't need a fluid buffer. We don't need a fluid buffer. Yep, all good. No problem. Ooh. All right. I think we're going to go like just past this thingy here. These like whatever structures that they have. And we're going to start building this way. I don't really know how much room we need. I guess we'll start with this since I'm getting low on concrete. Oh, you know what we need? I need... We need to do some... Yeah, we do need to do some work on yours. Let me know. We'll get together sometime. Just not tomorrow. Tomorrow's uh tomorrow's season ten kickoff. We're doing that. Okay, so give me our tower. Did that did that orient correct? No, it did not. It's the thing I hate about these things. They're like so tall you can't see 
what direction they're facing. Okay. Okay. You go here. How's that look? That looks lined up. Okay, how far can I go? I think I can go pretty far. Oh yeah, we can go real far. In fact, I could probably could have taken this one all the way there, I bet. Let's try. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the power. I did not do the power line extension. There we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. This one. All right, let's see. How far can we go? Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope, not that far. All right. Um, except I want room on that side, so we'll go to, like, here. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to there. Then that gives us power right by this, so that works out really good, actually. Okay... Um, I need to go get more concrete. <clears throat> more concrete! Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be, like, super easy to get this into the... I'll just bring it right up this line here. We'll bring the plastic in. Shove it in one of these. These are already set up to feed. Just plug them in. Uh oh. What's going on? Freaking Starbucks. <laughs> means that means that my wife is driving. She's driving through the night if she's getting Starbucks. Uh what was I gonna grab? Concrete. Concrete. Oh, shoot. I don't have any room still. Uh, we can get rid of these. Uh, let's see. What else? I need anything else? Do I need a topper of anything else? Uh, not really. I guess I could use some more cable. Let's just grab another thing of cable. this specimen.
Hmm, I don't remember how long that was. That's about here, maybe. I guess let's try it. See if it reaches or if I have to like extend it. Right about there. Yeah, yeah, sure. That'll work. Yeah, we need to connect up power before we can do anything. Now that's off. I don't know why that's off. It's like it's not allowing me to nudge it into place. There we go. Let's see if I can reach this little island. Oh, yes. I can. Sweet. Here we are. We're at the base with our gigantic power. I'm going to shove this guy right here. And we can run that through. Voila. Power. Okay. So now we're hooked up to power. And we need to handle... Our little refinery area here. That's probably nowhere near big enough, but we're going to start there and see what happens. Okay, so production, refinery. Oh, it is actually not terrible. Okay, so... We do need to figure out how to handle the out. The in is easy. And we do need more room though. Okay. So let's extend this out some. And then we're going to need some room back this way as well. see if 10 is enough because we need how many we need buildings buildings six refineries so eight refineries because we need six plus two six plus two in the back i guess okay so will this fit six if I space them out a little bit, give them a little bit of breathing room. Kind of put them in between two. Where the other one was? No, it's right here. Right here. 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 Oh, we need more room. More room! One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay. And how many of these were making what? Tree list. Four refineries were making plastic. And two refineries are making rubber. Okay. So plastic. Plastic, 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 and then rubber, rubber, voila. Oh, 
Um, so I'm keeping this one low because it's fluid. And fluid, in order to bring it up high, you need to bring, you need to introduce pumps onto the line. And it's very finicky when you add pumps. Because the pumps require you to have, like, so much head lift and then you can't place another pump within another amount of range. It gets really finicky. Oh, you, okay, yeah, they're, they're talking about, sorry, I was confused. They're talking about, uh, Flash. Still, I think. I think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Six. Yeah, except this is crude oil. So it's the same thing as the water pump, but this is this is the oil part of the game. And I'm just now getting into. So we can make our plastic and our rubber, and then we're gonna sift out the extra petroleum coke. And turn it into points, into tickets. Because we're not going to use it. We don't even have the recipes for extra stuff yet. It's another thing I need to do is go do a... Yeah, I missed your... I actually caught your stream. Uh, I just missed it. I wasn't there for the actual stream. So sorry about that. But yeah, I saw that you did do a little short stream there the other day. Hope that went well. Okay, so now we have. All right, so the oil residue. Okay, so I got to pipe these together. Uh, okay, so this is where it's going to be weird. So I need to take this guy. That guy. That guy. And that guy. That's 40. And we need another one of these. Like that. And we're going to take pipe. How you like season 13 so far and you're, uh, your little bit of your bit of playing there, Fox. Uh, so we're we're kicking off season ten tomorrow. So season ten will start tomorrow, and I'm gonna be doing a live stream to start it off, and then we're gonna continue doing the recordings and then I think what I'm going to end up doing is either Wednesdays or Saturdays or maybe both um, I will be doing season 13 normal uh, once a week at least on a stream that's my plan that's my, my insider info Okay, so this is going to make coke. <laughs> so funny to say. So that's 40. Then we need to bring these up and over, I think. I think that's going to be how we're going to have to deal with this. Okay, so let's do... Let's do 
merger. Go that away. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, so season 13, I'm going to just do on my normal save. Um, and I think because I'm, I'm like interested in it, but I'm not like going to go out of my way, right? To go crazy with it. Cause I feel like it's going to be super fast, right? So I might, I might open it up to like, if people want to come play with on Wednesday nights. Now, keep in mind, multiplayer is still broken as crap, and I don't trust that they're going to fix it between now and then. But 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so I need a Mark II. I need Mark II. Yeah, I'm going to continue my hard mode backwards just as backwards. I'm not I'm not taking the hard mode save to season 13 cuz I just I don't feel like I need to either. Like But yeah, I figure like if you want to come in or people I trust, I guess. You or Zatanna or Arden wants to come in or whatever and play season 13 on Wednesday nights. Might just, might just do that. And honestly, I feel like season 13 is going to be so short that we could probably like do mine, finish it, and then like do yours too. <laughs> you know, like... Okay, so that's handling the out for that. And... That did add up, yeah. Yeah, Friday if he's around, he could come and join. I think that would be awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So this is going to make... 121, 120 petroleum coke. And we're just gonna make an awesome sink. It's gonna be like literally right next to this guy. In fact, let's put it like right next to it. Oh, there. Will that go in? Yes. Yes. I fit perfect. Okay. So that's going to be that sink. Then this one. We need to handle this going somewhere. Uh, I'll think about, I'll think about what I'm going to do with this in a second. Let's handle this first. Okay, here, and here, and then one of these. Where did that go to? I gotta see. I gotta turn it around. That's why. I think that's the right spot. I think that's the right spot. It looks like it. Let's see. Is it just over the marker here? I gotta go one that way. Like that. There we go. Now it lines up. I know he's been like super busy with life, just real life happening, so 
I don't want to like tell him he has to, but if he's around, he wants to come in. He is welcome. About like that. Grab him one of these. Do one of these. Okay. So that hand, oops, except that's the wrong piece. I put it all in the wrong spot. <laughs> it's this one right here. Like that. And then this one goes here. That guy goes there. Okay, there we go. That lines up. Hopefully. Yes. Oops. Okay, so... Now that that's taken care of... Uh, let's see. How do I want to deal with this? How do I want to deal with this? I think we need to do the same thing. And I just need to figure out where to send this. Maybe up front or maybe turn it and go to the side of this or something. Because we got to be able to get over the pipes. Gotta get over the pipes. One, two, three. I guess we could go up one more and just go over again. All right, let's uh, grab the Mark II. So I don't remember how much it is, but actually, I think it's yeah, it's only forty. Uh, yeah, let's just mark one this. No point in getting fancy. Okay, you go there. You go there. You go there. And give me this guy. Two. At the right height? Yeah, that's the right height. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to probably start, because I mean, obviously the zone is fresh. It needs to be scouted. But I'm probably going to start with going to the farm to grab consumables and unlocking the ferry. So I'm just going to cut across the water go do that. Might get the... I guess we'll probably scout our way over to get the Kenworth. Like, I, I don't necessarily don't want to get it. I definitely want to get it. Um, is this not lining up? So, yeah, I guess that's sort of my, like, tentative plan, but it's just going to be sort of play. Figure it out as I go. Um, I needed to come one further. There we go. Like that. <clears throat> then, if I bring this down, and go like that, and if I bring this down, and go like that, they should line up. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of, just going to kind of play.
Okay, so for now, we're just going to send these to some storage boxes. Uh, except they're going to be a little wonky. One, two. We'll go like that. One, two. And mark two. <clears throat> okay. Plastic rubber. Let's hook this up to power and see if it works. Oh, I should have been pumping this this whole time. I should have been letting the pump run. Well, we're going to have to let the pump run for a little bit. Always let the pump run. Okay, power. Here, watch this thing turn on, by the way. Watch the center here. It takes a second. Okay, it says no power. Why does it say no power? That's not true. Did I, like, not hook up one of these? Okay. I need to disconnect this so I can go check the lines. Something isn't hooked up. Yeah, that's sort of the initial plan. Oh, I didn't hook this up. That's what I didn't do. Yep, I didn't hook that one up. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Alright, now watch the pump. There we go. Now it's gone. Kinda neat, huh? Like the oil extractor pump is actually kinda one of the cooler. There's there's even a cooler one. There's a geyser pump that you get eventually. And it it like has these like six round things around it and it like all of them kind of like separately like kind of like ka-chunk into the ground it's really neat <clears throat> listen JJ not everybody plays mobile games okay right some of us are just computer nerds We have some. We are getting some. We just need to let let it get moving. I want these pipes to fill up before I send it. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. He played it because he saw me playing it and he was like, man, that game's really cool and it was on sale. Which I respect a lot because I do that all the time. I'm like, ooh, this game looks cool and it's on sale. Uh, let's see. Where? Oh, that's not going to work. That is not a good spot. Okay, we need to be... Either inside or outside of the... It's about like that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I placed that in the wrong spot. I got debated by the line. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll come down this way. We'll come down this way. Do one of these. And we'll do one of these. Okay, let's hook that up, seeing as that can be hooked up and not be running yet. Power, 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 power. How are we doing on power, by the way? 22, we're getting, getting up there. We're gonna need some fuel power soon. All right, that's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. Okay, we're all full. All right. Let's turn it on. Here we go. Power, Capitan. All right, we are now making plastic and rubber and heavy oil residue and coke. Thirty per minute. Are we? Uh oh, something just shut down. What shut down? This shut down because this doesn't have enough residue yet. This needs to fill up. This needs to. Yeah, it's nothing I can do about that. It just needs time. Yeah, this one, same thing. This one's just gonna shut down every, ooh, did I not shut, did I not turn this one on? What's going on here? Oh, I didn't give it a uh, thing. Whoops. Yep, recipe. So yeah, supposedly, these things, these petroleum cokes, are worth, like, a lot of points. Mind you, it takes me, like, a couple million points per coupon now, but... There we go. Plastic being made, rubber being made. Nice. All right, we can start doing unlocks for the other stuff. Freaking sweet. How's this doing? We 100%. We are 100%. Even in this one, ooh, we're not 100%. Why is this idle? What is happening? The way for you go idle, sir, sir, excuse me. Uh, what? Uh, something went wrong. Something didn't work right here. How about this one? Yeah, this one, this one's full. This one's just not getting any... Okay, we gotta just rebuild this line, I think. How about that one? See what happens if I do that. I don't think it went in. Nope, it did not. <laughs> it did not. Okay, that's why. There, now it's in. Hey, there we go.
<laughs> the Steves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then and the black coke. The opposite of white coke. Alright, I'll stop. Alright. Oil, oil, oil. 30 per minute. 180, so this is 30, 60, 90. 120, 150, 180. And that's our 180 line right there. And we can just add more all in here. And we can actually make a lot of it into fuel eventually as well. And then we'll have fuel power, which will hook up to these fancy uh, power towers. Yeah, no, you just, you can't like get rid of the Steve's. Like, they just, like, meander about. Like, you can't, like, kill them. Even if they're passive. They, they, they're they always passive. They just kind of, like, get in the way. So, right. <laughs> they're just gonna be annoying. So, what I'll do probably then in the next one, whenever the next one may be, is we're gonna feed this up into the hub into our main storage hub because it's not far away we'll just have to grab some more concrete build a build a bit of a path and we'll just pipe that whole thing all the way up here onto that path up there say hello to steve give him give him a little here oh you know hold on we gotta go out with a bang literally i gotta see if i have any sulfur I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. Sulfur? Ooh, yes. Yes. Oh, uh, I need coal. I think I saw a coal. Hold on. That's not coal. Um, I know where there is coal. It's kind of far away, but I'm going to go get some. There's some Sam ore. Uh, how about I do one of these? See if I can find any that way. Limestone. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's the closest stuff over there. Could have swore. I like... I'm gonna like run into it on the way there, watch. There was like, you know, the little... The little pure nodes of coal. Yeah, before before we go, before we go for the night, I probably should get to sleep afterward tomorrow. But um, we're gonna we're gonna do something. I just need some coal. Yeah, there, there's coal over at the end of the road here. So if we make it there without finding any, we'll just get some coal over there. No. I don't see any little coal nodes. There's more copper over there. I didn't even know that that was there. Copper and limestone. All right. All the way over here. See if I can just steal some from the machine. Yes. Good. Okay. We need... Nobelisk requires what? Black powder and pipe. Perfect. Do I have any pipes left? Or did I use them all? 
Are you kidding me? I think I used all the pipe. Uh, we can probably steal some from the machine here. Let's see. Can we steal some from here? Nope, he just took it. Nope. Come back. Come back. I don't want the workbench. Okay, give me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nobelisk. Okay, come here, Steve. You ready? Oh, he took off. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah, you can't kill Steve. <laughs> yes, there is explosives in this game. It's so you can actually get rid of these things is really what they're for. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to head out for the night. This was awesome. I had a good time. Thanks for helping me test. Thanks for sticking in there for two hours while my, I didn't have sound. But uh, we'll see you guys again in the next one.